Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is a game that I've wanted to play for ages. This is Freedom Fighters from the makers of Hitman uh, 1 and 2. And Blood Money, I think? Anyway, we have intro. <laughs> Ninety four five Soviets nuked what? So basically nineteen forty five the Soviets nuked the Germans. Britain has joined the communist bloc. So the whole of uh, the UK uh, the whole of Europe has gone communist. Mexican Communist Party celebrates. Hmm. Communists are taking over the world in this alternate reality. Foiled assassination attempts on US President and unnamed foreign power. Oh. Yesterday, reports of low flying drones from all over the USA. Government dismisses the sightings as weather balloons. As weather balloons. Of course. So, alternate reality. I do like these kind of games. And that is a meaty motherfucker of a sub. Whoa, there's more. Whoa, there's a few of them. I think those subs are a little bit too close to each other. Oh, man. They look cool. Oh. Damn. Freedom fighters. Looks like the Reds have just uh, gone for a spot of swimming. In New York. Hmm. No good could possibly come of this. And the soundtrack in this game is great as well. Yes, yeah, so I've wanted to record and cover this game for years. Um, I have it on the original Xbox, which is my original copy from way back in the day. Um, interestingly enough, actually, I gave loads of my Xbox games, original Xbox games, away to a friend when uh, I, the, the 360 came out and uh, a couple years ago he gave them all back to me so cool I guess and that was amongst them amongst many 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 others that I'm looking at now now that was cool so I thought okay well we'll do the uh, the original Xbox version now my original Xbox actually died uh, when I was preparing to record another game um, glitch in the system a few well about a year ago and I haven't got around to replacing it yet but I thought that's okay uh, I'm pretty sure Freedom Fighters is compatible on the 360 backwards compatible so set the 360 up pop the disc in no so I was like wait a minute I'm sure this game is backwards compatible looked it up and it is but only on American Xbox 360s why I what that makes literally zero sense, but okay, fine. So I thought, never mind. Um, we'll do this another time. Uh, so this one was pushed back a little bit. So I waited some more time, and yesterday I went into CEX. Uh, CEX is like a second-hand store in the UK. They uh, kind of specialize in uh, electronics and games and that kind of stuff. And they had it for the GameCube. It's like, cool. Actually, an excuse after nearly a decade to get my GameCube out. So, I dug out the GameCube, realised I couldn't find a SCART lead for it. So, I thought, it's always fucking something. So, I thought, okay, fine. Ordered a new SCART lead. That took four days to come. And that was yesterday. Set it all up to find out in the decade that my GameCube has been sitting there. Uh, I it's just it's stop reading discs. It fires up, it all works and everything, but the discs don't read. So, okay, I thought this game is cursed. Never mind. So I dug out my Wii and 
set up, get everything going. And I use component cables for my Wii. And I don't have any other way of connecting them to my capture card. And I just thought, I've got no way of connecting my Wii to my capture card because I've got component cables and I now have the uh, H Elgato HD60. So, <sighs> that was a pain in the ass. I had to order a new cable for my Wii, which arrived today. Uh, because I used to have the Hophog um, HD PVR2, which is a massive piece of shit, and I got rid of it. Um, so yeah, this game has been a massive pain in the ass to get to this stage. But, we're at this stage now, and uh, <laughs> it's either going to be smooth sailing and all gravy from here, or this is just going to be one of those Let's Plays that is pure nightmare fuel. Now, I haven't played the this game since it came out way back when so I'm looking forward to it has it held up I don't know I don't know and can I say the Wii uh, backwards compatibility with GameCube stuff is really fucking cool I mean it's the only use the Wii has because the Wii is a piece of shit but that's a really cool feature right let's get into this anyway checking and you could just I love the way that you can just open it up and you plug in your GameCube controllers and like it renders the GameCube obsolete unless you want to use some of the GameCube's uh, uh, accessories like uh, well there aren't any really good ones apart from the Game Boy Player that's good uh, right but if you just want to play the games just get a Wii they're actually cheaper than a GameCube as well Wii's are like I mean, they're giving them away, practically, whereas GameCubes are starting to be worth a fair amount of money. Also, the component cables for a Wii. What, £10? The component cables for a GameCube, £150, £200? Ugh, madness. Anyway, let's go single player. We're going to go new game. Uh, that's like the default difficulty, Freedom Fighter. You got what it takes. This game... This game is hard. Like, it gets proper hard. It doesn't fuck around. This was way before you had regenerating health and all that kind of stuff. And I don't know that much about this game. Uh, I haven't played it, like I said, since it came out. But we'll go for that for now. Uh, we'll just go with... Uh, actually, I know what we should do. We should do. And my cat is now looking at me. What do you want, cat? Look, cat, it's taken me ages to get this far. Alright, now, I think we need a name. Let's go for... Let's see if anyone gets the reference. Because this is basically... Uh, come on. Cat, you're now sitting on me. Red Dawn. Because this is basically Red Dawn the game. Kind of. Auto save. Uh... The save game Freedom Fighters is Red Dawn already? Yes, that's true. It does already exist because uh, I started doing this earlier. But my cat jumped on the ledge above me and dropped something on my head. <laughs> Some language was uh, was used, which is now why she's cuddling up to me. I'm sorry. Anyway, when I couldn't pinpoint the exact location of my humble summer cottage in the Hamptons, she dropped me right there. Oh, damn, I look like an idiot still holding the drinks I've been paying for all night. Well, who cares? You know, her loss. Hey, pop the clutch and let's get on with it. What's up with the worksheet today, bro? Maybe you shouldn't lie. Let's see. About Isabella a, Angelina, a condo in Midtown Manhattan, drain plug, and a leaky garbage disposal. Gah. Do we have to get the crappiest route every Monday morning? I wish for once we get a fancy condo on the east side with a... <laughs> Whoa, Isabella Angel, whatever. She's that hot spokes babe for the warning against red oh. movement. Hey, saw her on TV yesterday. That's convenient. No idea. Besides, I don't follow all that conspiracy crap like you do. <laughs> what do you mean conspiracy crap? Doesn't the Soviet invasion of South America oh. bother you? You need a reality check, bro. Know what? Next thing you know, you'll be waking up under a Russian flag, and you won't think it's conspiracy <laughs> crap then. Mm. Right. Well, this is convenient. You're so in denial. Look, try listening to those warning against Reds guys. What, 
Speaking of which, how about this first stop? I'd really like to check out the plumbing. <laughs> okay. Why does our brother look like uh, Hello? Silent Bob? Plumbers on patrol. Anybody home? Yeah. Whew. No wonder. Sister Sludge sure needs a trained surgeon here. There is one here. Freeze! Don't move. Remain calm. And you have. Whoa! Hey, stay cool, man. I'm you have to plumber. love the accents. <laughs> Where is your girlfriend, citizen? <laughs> girlfriend? <laughs> She's not. <laughs> Bitch slap. I will ask again. Where is Isabella? Look at this Andre? guy. Hmm? What her? Look, I think. I mean, she's look. She's not. <laughs> he looks like a cartoon character. Well, Isabella. He looks like a teddy bear. Bomb the place to pieces. I want to see a lawyer, buddy. Well, they didn't search that place very well, did they? Manhattan invasion. Hmm. So whilst our brother was getting slapped about by the Russian bear, we just hid in the corner. Okay, well, this is where the game starts, I guess. It really has gone all red dawn on us. Uh, but that's okay, because we have a wrench. And I hate the GameCube control pad. Ooh, we could have a shower. I really hate the GameCube control pad. With this the weird C stick, it just it ugh, it feels horrible to have like a normal analog stick and then uh this whatever this is and the fact that the whole control pad looks like a Fisher Price kids toy just ugh. Well, Nintendo. Never mind. Alright. Oh, hello, what's going on out here? Hi right, buddy. <laughs> Have my wrench to your face, pal. Oh. Ah, these reds aren't so tough. I'll be eating those words later. It is fortunate uh -huh. that you found me. Oh, Quickly, good. This way. Okay, where are we going, chief? Ooh, they patched that out pretty quick. Do not cross. Why not? That sucks. The soldiers are sure to find us here. We must find All right, buddy. Where would you get the piece? I want a piece. Can I have a piece? Fine. Ooh, damn. Perfect. Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones doesn't fuck around, does he? Well, now we have a gun. Excellent. Follow me. Follow what me. the hell? I don't we even know what happened there. Come on, Mr. Jones. Luckily, shooting is kind of automatically aimed. <laughs> let's just let's add some dramatic atmosphere here. There we go. As our brother flies off into the distance. Uh, Mr. Jones, where are you, buddy? Um, so there's like no resistance from the US military? Really? Hmm. I do, Mr. Jones. We are not as well I know that. The enemy, so we'll have to improvise. Aim at the fuel barrels okay, why are there the so many fuel barrels everywhere? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, early hav havoc physics. How I've missed the excellent. Whoa, shit. Um, I guess we got bombed. That's always fun. We have no time for this. I have no time for what? Follow me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool story, bro. Cool story. Uh, our health does not regen in this game. We have to use medikits. Uh, medikits are. Yeah. You're wounded. Take that yes, thank you, Mr. Jones. I'm way ahead of you. Yes, medikits, you can only hold five of them at a time, but they will heal your health to max. Good. You are I am. It is, yes. Them. Very, very droll. I'm trying to say stuff, Mr. Jones. Shut up for a minute, alright? Um, oh, fucking hell. Yes, now. I... Whoa! Can things stop exploding for five minutes, please? Okay, cool. Whoa, what the hell's Oh, hello. Please hurry. We must uh, apparently there is a tank shooting at the civilians. Uh, I guess the Ruskies are quite friendly today. Yeah, that bar under our health is experience, believe it or not. And it's not as exciting as you think. It's just, uh, well, I'll explain it as we go. All right, the chief. You look like you're wounded. He's wounded. You have a health pack. Yes, boss. Save this man's life. 
take this. Yo, that was close. Yeah, these are magical health kits. What's our status? Okay, come with me, guys. I've got supplies that right, you see, we've got 25 experience for that, which now gave us a circle. For each circle we have, we can command one soldier. And uh, soldiers in this are really good. And we are going to be using them a lot. Grab a Ooh, Molotovs, yes. Red. Mr. Jones, you're way too serious for your own good, buddy. Okay, we will use a Molotov. There we go. The way you throw grenades and stuff in this game is really weird. Yeah, all right, buddy. All right, all right, all right. You kind of have to, like, throw the... A hold the button down. And then, like... He does this weird jump. It they're so hard to aim though. Ooh, there we go. Oh baby, oh, a triple. Yeah, baby. Stay right. And um, all right, all right, dude, calm down, calm down. You're having way too much fun. Now let's keep moving. Ooh, more Molotovs. Don't mind if I do. All right, you red bastards. No time to waste. They'll yes, 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 yes. Mr. Jones, you are a bossy gentleman, aren't you? Well, <sighs> open this manhole with your wrench. You really we are a bossy motherfucker. Yeah, we can actually go into this, like over-the-shoulder aiming mode, which is good for fine tuning. But oh my god, does it suck! It's horrible. Now I don't know if it's bad because um, the GameCube controller is a piece of shit. Or if it's just bad because of the game. Yeah, the way they chose to use two totally different sticks for the GameCube controller is just... I, Well, I have my opinions of Nintendo and I don't really have too much good to say about them. But Open this manhole with there we go. We can escape the safe All right, we're going. 25 more XP as well. Now, every time we go through a manhole, we get to go to our base. And this is quite cool. Citizens of New York and comrades from the Soviet Armed Forces, welcome to our first news broadcast after today's events. My name is Hello, Tatiana, Tatiana Kempinski, and I will be your regular news I anchor see. from now on. We hope in time to obtain the cooperation of most of your familiar TV personalities once they return from a re-education <laughs> program at our training facilities in Alaska. In Alaska. Meanwhile, I will make sure you get all necessary information about our efforts to restore peace and stability in That's your right, troubled kind of country. Citizens found our on the Soviet city streets have been after dusk may be shot on sight. The poor American people suffering under a corrupt regime. Today we have finally succeeded in liberating the suppressed masses of Americans from further hardship. And we will soon restore law and order in a new rule of government. And we expect and believe that every citizen will swear allegiance to this new order. Cooperate and you will reap all the benefits of the Soviet system. All measure of resistance will be futile mm -hmm. and dealt with swiftly. Our great leader, Comrade <laughs> General Tatarin, will be addressing the <laughs> he nation He looks like later. a big old teddy bear. So on behalf of the dedicated staff here at the studio and the glorious Soviet armed forces, welcome New York to a better future. Hmm. Always read the uh, the yellow text there. It's quite interesting. Now, this game had a very good atmosphere for the time. Especially here. And the soundtrack is actually really good. The soundtrack has uh, aged much better than the game. It's not to say the game isn't good. The game is still seemingly quite a lot of fun, but... It's very cheesy, whereas the soundtrack is still super serious. Ooh, looks like we got a lot of stuff. A lot of boxes. Brooklyn Rebel Base loading. To enter location, go to the map and push A. Right, so, oh, okay. Um, well, we had a lot of stuff. Uh, I guess... We don't actually have a lot of stuff. Ha! Huh. Actually, it kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Mercenaries 2. World in Flames. It's a safe zone. We store equipment here. 
With complete control of the sewer system, the tunnels enable us to bypass many of the That's roadblocks. All of our maps will indicate the location of the okay. sewer access points. Let us go over to the table and take a look. Well, that seems reasonable, but before I do that, I want to have a little look at our supplies. Uh, we have no supply. Okay. Oh, well, forget looking at the supplies then. Yeah, mercenary. Um, mercenaries 2. Playground of destru Destruction. Uh, no, Mercenaries 2. World in Flames. Yes. Uh, in that game, as you got further into the game and collected resources, you started getting boxes of ammo and stuff everywhere, which was really cool. Right, let's have a little look at our strategic map. All right, Mr. Jones, walk us through it. And who are you? And I think that's that other guy that we saved. So, we've got Soviet Domination, Brooklyn. So, we've got a police station and we've got the post office. The post office is a Soviet stronghold. It is used as a supply depot to support troops advancing into the city. Your brother is being held somewhere inside. Raise your flag on the roof to ah. signal our victory. To get near the police station, you'll have to destroy a sniper's okay. nest on the gas station. Uh, we can do that. So there's the map for each location. Now what's quite interesting is anything on this main map here, even though we can select two different areas, these are all linked. Um, as you can see, there are different, like, multiple objectives in each place, but, you, well, kind of, mostly. But you can do these in, in kind of any order you want, as long as you've got the supplies to do it. Um, so, like, you can do, say, destroy the gas station and then go over here and do some more of this, vice versa. It's quite open and free. At least I think it is. Unless it's one of these games that makes you think it's open and free, but it's actually really linear. Huh. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Like, for instance, I know that we've got to uh, secure the police do this bit. Liberate our leader, we've got to go here first Razor. to get C4 to do this. Now, once we've got the C4, I think we have to go back here. But I don't know if you can do that in any order you want. Hmm. I guess we're going to find out. Anyway. Let's go to the police station. The Mr. Jones waffling on, talking bollocks constantly. That's what he does. Now, these maps are quite small. And it is in our best interest to all these ladder positions. They are um, shortcuts back to, the, uh, to our base. Now, the good thing about these is we can access the sewer, but we can instantly warp to another location we can go back to our base reload rearm and all that stuff and we can quick save quick saving on this difficulty is probably going to be really bloody useful to be honest now we don't have many weapons or equipment which is not good but that will change all right fellas what uh what you doing over here looks like you're having a bit of a rough rough time Please hi buddy help. what's going We're on down here hey listen buddy Grab some explosives and get back to the sewers. Go to the gas station. That's where you'll need to blow the fuel tank. Just go through the You seem to be clued in on exactly what's going on, Sonny Jim. There's something you're not telling. Wow, you look like someone out of the Young Man's Club. Dude. Anyway, fair enough, buddy. Right, let's go back. We now have some uh, C4. We have enough to do some damage. He, he, maybe he should, uh, should be the leader because he knows exactly what's going on. Very, very interesting stuff. Anyway, let's go over to the other zone. Let's go to another location and the post office. Now, one cool thing post about offices. this is it really does load quite quickly. Which is nice. Right, so this is the next area. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same. Very dingy, this place. Oh, hello. Yo, the kid. Man. You're right, kid. What's you. going on, buddy? Check that. I did. You found some C4. All you gotta do okay. now is blow it, the gas station. Everybody seems to know a lot about this. What's, what are you even doing there, buddy? Freedom with the American flag. Hmm, okay. All right. Well, that is what we shall try and endeavour to uh, to bring about. Oh, hey guys, I have gun. 
Which means you have death. Which is great, because our handgun is pretty rubbish. Rifle's much better. At least the AK. There's actually, again, from what I can remember, I think there's a few weapons in this game. Like, quite a few weapons. And they're all quite different. Alright there, buddy. What's going on? No way, pal. No one gets by oh, until Isabella is free. Well, fine. We shall endeavor to uh, free Mrs. Isabella then. Alright, let's crack this bad boy open. Like so. Excellent. And I suppose we can quick save. Are you sure you want to make a quick save? Uh, yes. Quick saving. No, saves are not permanent and are lost when exiting. Okay, well that's... That's kind of useful, but it's going to kind of suck as well for Let's Play. Okay. No matter. Right, let's move. Ha! Huh. This place like really unguarded. Alright, well, I'm not complaining. Alright, let's nuke these fuel tanks then. Let's get our C4 working for us. Earning the big bucks. Well, that was quite easy. I mean, I guess this is like tutorial land, but still. Nice. That's given us some more charisma. Charisma, like I said, is basically experience. So, those snipers have just literally been roasted. And even after all this time, there's something quite pleasing about the, the graphics. Which is good. And you can hear as well. Like, that soundtrack is really quite nice. And do these blow up? No. You need to be careful with ammo and stuff as well, because it is persistent. Ooh. Have we not opened that one? I guess not. Let's crack this bad boy open. We actually have to get out of it now, anyway. We need to go back to the police station. But we're basically out of time. Um, let's... Oh, the rebel base, I mean. Let's go back to the rebel base, because... Now we've got this rifle, I'm curious. Can we fill up on ammo whilst we're here? No. No, we can't. That's a bit of a pain in the ass. Also, how do we, like, save the game? Excellent work demolishing the fuel station. We're able well, to move good. around at our leisure now that the snipers are gone. Hmm, the time for this uh, might be a little bit all over the place because I don't know when we can save the game. I'm guessing we have to like complete the chapter ish. The post office is a right, well, let's go liberate our leader anyway. Our glorious leader. Um random that we was actually at her apartment earlier. Hmm. Curious. And we've got twenty two rounds in our rifle, which is not that good, to be honest. We could definitely use a little bit more firepower, but that will come with time, I am sure. Let's go check out our um, Mr. Moustache Policeman over here. All right, buddy. Thanks, friend. Nice to get rid of the snipers. Listen, if you're going to infiltrate We're like the police station, oh, oh I recommend you use the subway tunnel. <laughs> oh my, that looked bad. <laughs> no, no. No, right, cool. So, subway, into the station, check. Oh, dude, you didn't tell me this place was full of reds. Uh-oh. Um, we are out of bullets. We are out of bullets. Yeah, you run out of bullets. We've got one med kit. You run out of bullets, you're kind of screwed. Oh, hey, pal. But luckily, we will get... A lot more soon. We need some rifle ammo. We need some med kits as well. Oh. You're right there, buddy. Hiding behind the wall. Have some bullets. Dick. Alright, you red bastards. Oh, med kit. Just what the doctor ordered, literally. Reloading is automatic as well, which is kind of taking some. getting used to. Ah, dude, are you. wait. 
you, you're just letting the Reds infest that place. Enter the police station through the parking garage, but stay low. Yeah, all right, bro. Soldiers will spot I got this, and I, <laughs> I love the animation for us uh, <laughs> sneaking and creeping around. It really is like something out of Family Guy. I don't know. It, it just tickles me in all the right places. I love it. It's delicious. All right. Shut up, you red bastard. You all right there, guys? I'm just here to ruin your day. You don't mind, do you? Oh, God. You might be ruining my day at this rate. There we go. He's got some... Ooh. Rifle or shotgun? We're going to stick with the rifle. Like, I think the shotgun's all right, but we can really use medkit as well. We've got two now. Can you stop shouting your head off? You kind of... Oh, God. You. Giving our position away, if that's even a thing. Much better. There we go. We've got some assault rifle. Look at that. Eight rounds. That's not fantastic. We could aim at these guys and try and snipe them, but look how accurate the guns are. They're... They're not good. They're really not good. Okay. Now, that might be because we're just some, like, random plumber. Not quite Mario, but you get what I'm saying. I guess we're not military... Tr we don't have military training, is what I'm trying to say. Sometimes it is hard to get the words out. Alright. Well, let's keep moving. Looks like we've cleared this place out. So far, I'm thinking this game's hold up rather nicely. I mean, it looks dated, but the gameplay is still fun. The soundtrack, man, it's so eerie. So oppressive. Me like. Oh, God. Ooh, hello. Now, do we want... Nah. Say, do we want the shotgun? I think we're good without it. Hey, guys. Well, he, he literally gave no shits. He just was... I guess he was just sick of life. You know? I kind of understand. We all have days like that. Still wouldn't let someone walk up to me and shoot me in the ass, mind. Our oh, health ain't great. Yeah, uh, no checkpoints either. If we don't um, save them, or if we don't save it, those manhole covers, uh, and we die, we're fucked. We go all the way back. This is old school. Old school difficulty. Which, eh, I personally quite like checkpoints. They certainly have a purpose. Now, it seems like we've got a lot of ammo, but we really don't. We don't actually have to fight these guys out here, to be honest, but... Ooh, who's shooting me in the ass? Dude, where did you come from? No! Bad, Rusky. Bad! You should taste my American superiority. At least that is what I'm assuming he'll be thinking. Yep. Oh, God. Yep. Get a few enemies on your ass, and things go badly very quickly. Ooh. Well, we've stirred up a hornet's nest out there. And they can't really... They don't seem to... Uh oh They don't seem to be that good, to be honest. The AI is... Not fantastic. Who's shooting me? Dude, seriously. And you really... Ah, I bet I... Is he up there? No. We can swap weapons. I don't really want to, though. Ah, excellent. Yeah, there, buddy. Have some more bullets. Oh. I'm kind of glad these guys are a bit stupid, to be honest. Hello, friend. Uh-oh. We're just chewing our health packs. Oh, God. Yeah, where are ah, they? are above us. Right, fuck this. Let's go upstairs. We're taking a lot of damage here. 
And our medikits are not unlimited. Far from it. Ah, oh, hey, pal. Was it you shooting me in the ass? And you. Oh, God, they're coming out of the woodwork. Reload, come on. Bloody hell. Yeah, you can see, the second you lay off the trigger finger, or the trigger, I should say, it actually starts reloading, which can be a bit problematic. But it doesn't matter too much. Right, okay, that's this place clear. All right, let's keep pushing. Yeah, it looks like the enemies are quite dumb. Like, uh, they're not really that interested in what's going on. To be honest, like, no shits at all given. You'd have thought they'd all be rushing to our location, but, uh, I mean, I'm not complaining. If they were, we'd probably get annihilated. So, this is good. And, well, dead end, I guess. There are a lot of people um, scattered around some of these maps that you can save. If you save them, you get charisma. We want us some charisma. Oh, there's another medkit there. Maybe there's a lot more medkits scattered around than I thought there was. Not that I'm complaining. Medkits are good. Hey, buddy. You're not slightly curious as to all the sounds downstairs, you know? Your comrades dying and all that, th that stuff. You don't care. Is every Russian for himself? Never mind. Right, that's this place cleared out. There's nothing in here at all. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Got a shotgun. I don't know how good the shotgun is. I can't really remember. Ooh. Personally, I like me the automatics. But that is the Spaz 12, and it is the uh, semi auto version. Ooh. Nice. Okay, that was dodgy. Let's grab us up another med kit, because I'm sure you can only hold five. I don't know if you can upgrade that later. I don't know if you get any upgrades, actually, apart from the fact that you can uh, get a bigger squad the more you play. I'm coming, for God's sakes. Rescue's here. Well, you look Thanks. stereotypical. Don't forget, the flag. Don't forget the hoist the flag. What are you talking about? Yep, so go to the flag and push A to hoist the stars and stripes and secure the location. That's how you essentially complete every mission. We have to hoist the stars and stripes, which is quite cool. I like that. Yeah, there, buddy. You guys are really shit guards. Like, I mean, there's shit guards and then there's you guys. You really are on a whole nother level of being awful. I don't remember the AI being this awful, actually. But it's awfully funny, so, you know, there's that. Either that, or they weren't actually that bothered about us coming and rescuing our glory... Oh, God, our glorious leader. Okay, the handgun's actually pretty good. Right, you Russian bastards. I know there's at least... Oh, I was going to say, at least one of you left. Oh my god, it's like fish in a barrel. Fish in a barrel. Okay, even though the enemies are thick as shit, this game is quite hard. Honest Indians. Alright, let's change the flags over. And enemies killed 47. 11 minutes. 39 minutes as well. Nice. So let's head back to the base. Fired 511 shots. Used 5 medikits. Damn. We're just building up our resistance to bullets. Shoot yourself with lower caliber bullets so you become immune to larger caliber bullets. That's how it works, right? And here we are. Right, I don't know how to save the game unless it saves when we finish each mission. Well, I'm going to take a chance on it anyway, guys, because I cannot record forever. I have work tomorrow. But, ooh. Good work up there. People are locked up to help fight. Seeing our flag again. Excellent. Really got
people mobilized. Well, that's good news. Thanks for that, Isabella. So, guys, I am uh, going to hope. Well, I was going to say, I'm going to save it here. I hope I'm going to save it here. Uh, I guess we're going to see what happens, whether I have to replay all of this or not. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And when we return, we are going to go and uh, take the a police station. No, we've just taken the police station. We are going to go... What was the other place? Ah, the post office. Yes, yes. So when we come back, guys, to the post office. So, till then, guys. Till then.